This week on Inside Boulder News. This group of elementary school students is getting an early start to civic engagement. It's a harmful gas you can't see, smell, or taste. We'll let you know how you can keep your home safe. And find out if Boulder is still on track towards its climate commitment goals. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Chelsea Avendaño. The City of Boulder recently released its Greenhouse Gas Emissions Report for 2016. Results show that thanks to the City's climate sustainability efforts, there was a 13% reduction in the community's greenhouse gas emissions. This keeps the City on track towards its 100% renewable energy goal by the year 2030. The City of Boulder completes a Greenhouse Gas, or GHG, inventory to help assess the City's contribution as a community to climate change. We complete an annual GHG inventory because it lets us monitor how our emissions footprint changes over time and it allows us to track our progress against our climate commitment goals. Kimberly Rankin is a sustainability coordinator for the city of Boulder. She says that even while the community saw growth both in population and in the economy, the city was still able to see emission reductions. Uh, some of those reductions are due to our city programs that are successfully reducing energy consumption or vehicle miles traveled, um, but we're also seeing a reduction because the electricity grid is getting cleaner because more renewables are being added to the grid. While the city is taking steps at reducing emissions in the community, it will take a community effort to reach the city's climate commitment goal of 100% renewable energy by the year 2030. If any citizen or business owner is interested in learning how they can reduce their emissions footprint and help us achieve our goals, we have a great section in our greenhouse gas inventory report with some awesome resources, including going to boulder.earth to find out how they can get involved. If you would like to see the city's full greenhouse gas inventory report, visit the city's community dashboard at bouldercolorado.gov forward slash boulder measures. And to keep up to date on all things climate action, visit boulder.earth. Mayor Zuzan Jones announced at this week's council meeting that January is National Radon Action Month. Radon is a harmful gas that you can't see, smell, or taste. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, it is the leading cause of lung cancer deaths among non-smokers in America. However, exposure to radon is preventable. Here is more on how you can keep your home safe. About 54% of the homes in Boulder County are above the Environmental Protection Agency guideline of four picuaries. This unit is used to measure radon gas levels. This dangerous gas claims the life of about 20,000 Americans each year. You are getting radiation damage equivalent to 200 chest x-rays a year. Being a radioactive gas, it increases the risk of lung cancer. And the nice thing about radon is that it's easy to test for and it's also easy to fix. A lot of people think that it's really expensive to take care of, but it's not. To take care of radon levels in your home, homeowners can have a radon mitigation system installed. The cost for one of these systems is usually around $1,000. What happens is the soil gas is routed out from underneath the foundation through a pipe and it's vented up above the roof. The only way to really know if there are high radon gas levels in your home is by conducting tests, which experts recommend doing every couple of years, depending on any previous history of radon in your home. One of the ways to test for radon is by using a short-term test kit. There, these are really simple and easy to use. All you do is leave this in your house for three to seven days. Uh, this, this is a short-term test, so it needs to be done with uh, following the EPA protocol of closed house conditions. Free test kits are available on the state's health department website. People can download a coupon available to receive their free test kit in the mail. This will measure radon gas. Mm -hmm. And so it's sent to the lab and they will send you your results um, either by email or in the mail with the level of radon that's in your home. For other ways on how you can test for radon in your home, please visit the County of Boulder's website at bouldercountyradon.org. Here you will also be able to find a full list of licensed radon mitigators for those interested in having a radon mitigation system installed. Earlier this month, the City of Boulder's transportation planners received national recognition for its innovative approach to engaging the public in a civic project. The project included community partners and a group of second graders. We caught up with the students of Whittier Elementary to learn more about this award-winning project. 
This bench along 20th and Pearl Street may just look like an ordinary bus stop, but many may not know the story behind it. The bench, um, we put it there so because whenever someone, like if someone like was running, mm -hmm. and so they could, um, uh, like when they're tired, they could sit down on the bench. That's Armian, a third grader at Whittier International Elementary School. He and his second grade class last year decided to place that bench at the Hop bus stop. It was a project involving city transportation planners, community partners, and the second graders at Whittier. The purpose of the project was to get feedback and input on the hop and um, transit in general and how we could improve riding the bus, the experience of riding the bus for kids and for youth in the community. The kids took part in civic engagement by studying the stop and making suggestions on how they could improve the hop route. I wanted to change the, um, the bus stop sign because people couldn't see where the hop bus would stop. They also had feedback about the experience on the bus and they wanted that to be fun and um, one of the ways that they thought that would be fun is adding art to the bus. It was kind of boring when the pictures were not there because we would just be seeing the other people. Because of the kids involvement in this hot project, the city was recognized nationally and received an award in Washington DC from the Transportation Research Board. It's a public engagement award for recognizing innovative projects in transportation across the country. Though the children's job in the HOP project might be done for now, the city is working on some changes to the HOP route. In the fall of 2018, um, we'll be making changes, and but from now until then, we're going to be engaging the community in a branding and naming process for what the new HOP looks like. For more information, please visit the website on your screen. Let's go back to, the, we're talking about things that have been a challenge. For Boulder's people. public libraries offer an abundance of classes. Conversations in English is one that helps build community and confidence. I try to talk in English, but I have not read English, but a little bit I know, but oh. not perfect. Um, it's open to all non-native English speakers in our community, whether or not they're here permanently or visiting, um, to come and practice their English in a fun and non-threatening environment where they learn from volunteer facilitators but also from each other. The class meets five times a week, Monday through Friday, at Boulder's main library. No fee or registration is required and it's open to all English levels. As opposed to a regular English class, conversations in English is simply a conversation amongst one another. We want everyone to feel welcome here and we want all backgrounds and cultures and language backgrounds to come here, share together and see um, how welcoming we are. For more information on conversations in English and for a full list of programs and classes the library has to offer, please visit boulderlibrary.org. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. Have a good week.